Note that when I made these videos that uh, I have quite a few parts for the EQ section of the effects. I kind of messed it up and got all the video orders a little wrong and screwy. The reason this happened was because I didn't really have a structure to set them up and uh, I ended up almost leaving out the EQ parts. So there'll be a third part with the uh, <coughs> with the uh, EQ section on it as it was sort of an afterthought and I didn't think to put it in there so you know. best idea would be to watch these videos in order so if you came from an earlier one and are wondering what the fuck man <laughs> well there here's your answer some of these parts will be over eight seven eight nine minutes long so now you know what to expect first section Thanks. you can see up here is the noise gate and wah section um, start off with you the program here on the V amp has a noise gate. I'll quick dial up a nice loud patch for you so you can hear with lots of gain. Which, you know, lots of noise. The noise gate is this right here. You have, right now it's currently off. You turn it on, you use your mouse to control the threshold level here by clicking on the knob and moving it up or down. See? So if I want to have it completely silent, I'll roll it completely off, or completely, you know, it'll let the noise through, but it'll allow things like turning down your volume to get a clean, cleaner sound, like that. Or you can turn it up to sometimes a maximum saying, which will give it this kind of muffled kind of sound doesn't really track very well, but actually I have used it on a song that I wrote before. You know. Actually it tracks a little better on here, but if I back down the gain it'll be like... It'll be like... So that's basically it. You can use that. We'll just turn it down to an acceptable level and turn my gain down the drive off back to around where I usually have it. The other one is your wah wah, which allows you to uh, adjust. You know, say you want to do something like maybe Neil Sean used to do in Journey. You can turn the wah setting and use it to alter your tone to a wah that's got a different setting. It's wah wah setting, but so you can like set it over here if you wanted to use that sound for like you know you know muffle muffle the tone or maybe make it really shrill and trebly. Kind of like something from uh, Nanak rubs it from a Frank Zappa album or something like that. All right, let's move over to the next part of this. Um, yeah, this is the next part. Hopefully, you can see the whole of the entire screen right here. You've got the VAMP Design logo up here. This is your uh, name of your patch. Right now, it says Mad Mike HB Distortion or Dist. Um, you have the store button right here which stores your presets, edit buffer which is the buffered preset, and original which shows when you're using the compare button here. The original preset versus the edit buffer which is pretty much re-EQ'd to the same thing just in case I make a mistake. And then you have overwrite here which can overwrite that patch. Now next up on the list of course right here is our Free FX, which is basically stuff that you put in before the effects pedal, like you have a compressor, as you can see. Compression is sort of an effect that can both add distortion and it basically levels out the sonic level on your thing. It takes out some of the dynamics and makes it a little more balanced. used a lot by um, used a lot by country chicken pickers and also take a little bit of power out of your signal.
like I'm going to play a riff really heavy and really light. The compressor off, it's like... Hear how it sounds nice and low there. Same pick and tack, I'll be like... So, yeah, that's generally what a compressor does. It's a very subtle effect. It's not supposed to be all that audible. It's just supposed to keep the level equal, and it takes out some of the dynamics, giving more overall balanced kind of sound. It's especially useful when you're recording guitar parts, and you want to control the dynamics from the actual mixing on the board as opposed to, you know, your actual picking attack and so forth. Next one up is the auto wah setting. You have knobs for speed. At its lowest setting, it goes, you know, really fast. Gives you that kind of 70s funk kind of sound. Yeah. And if you turn it up, it's more, you know, slower. It has a slower decay. You have the depth knob, which increases the depth of the wah, as you can see. Offset, which changes the offset of the wah wah pedal from the onset. And then you have frequency, which changes the frequency of the wah, the starting frequency. Let's move on to the next section. Right here is your amp model setting. You can turn this off. And you can't really hear much of what's going on. Turned off, it doesn't give you much. Turned on, it'll change the kind of amp you're using. Like right now, I'm using British High Gain. You got a bunch of different amp models. You have the uh, two preamp. You have uh, the deluxe. And each one of these has a slightly different volume level, so sorry if I blast yours out. You have the custom class A, small combos, black twins. You get the idea. Basically, they all have. When you turn a knob on, the difference between here on the uh, program and on the V-Amp itself is on the V-Amp itself you can turn the knob and it'll change your adjustments. You know, and it'll change which speaker setting, which is over here, goes with it. Like right now I'm running a rectified high gain with a 4x12 V-Amp custom cabinet. It's supposed to be sort of, you know, Mesa type sound like Metallica would use, you know. supposed to be its sound, or maybe you turn over here, you got another cabinet would be like modern class A with a 2x12 US class A. Or maybe uh, 4x12 vintage 30 with the British blues, you know. Marshall stack, you know. And your classic Marshall kind of tones. For right now, I'll forego the actual preamp.